friends, this is Ellen with Harmony Realty Fathom. Today we are looking at the market statistics for the third quarter of 2018. I like to pull three metrics when I look at these things. I like to look at the median price um, sold in each individual city in the triangle. Um, I'm focusing on Wake County today. The number of expireds in each county and the percent increase or decrease of those and the number of days it took to sell a home in each city. So today we're gonna look at those. So stick around, we'll be getting to that in just a minute. these statistics usually four times a year at the end of every quarter um, and I definitely like to do a one year at the end of the year so in January I'll put up an, another video that'll be of the whole year rather than just the quarter um, it's really important to kind of, kind of stay on top of these things because markets change they're up and they're down it's been a seller's market for a long time now and eventually it's gonna shift to a buyer's market and I like to know that sooner rather than later so getting into the numbers um, in Wake County there was a 7% increase in property values the days on the market went down from nine to four that is a decrease of 56 percent and there was a 25 percent decrease in expired listings in Cary, there was a seven percent increase in median property value there was a 37 percent decrease days on the market and a 42 percent increase in property values in apex there was a seven percent increase in property values there was a 66 percent decrease in days on the market there was a 21 percent decrease in expired Fired listings. In Holly Springs, there was actually a decrease by 3% in the property value. Um, so I just want to say here, because we see this in a couple of places this, this um, quarter, um, just because there was a decrease, that doesn't mean, first of all, it doesn't mean that there's a trend. You need to see, see that happen more than one time before you know that property values are trending lower. Secondly, we're just talking about the median value. We're not really talking about um, you know, the size of the home or the types of features in a home. So it could be that in Holly Springs, they're building more, for example, townhomes then they're building single family homes. This time last year, there were more single family homes that were a little bit bigger. Um, and that would make sense to me because it's really hard to find inexpensive homes or affordable homes right now. And so um, there's a lot of new construction going on in Holly Springs. So it wouldn't be surprising that those builders are turning towards more densely packed um, property to, to try and meet that need for affordable homes in Western Lake County. So, um, so down 3% with the, with the um, median value, down 66% with the days on the market. That's another clue that it's not really a downturn in the market because houses are selling a lot faster, 11 days last year to sell a house and four days this year to sell a house. That's a clue that it's not really the market turning, but that um, just maybe a change in the type of inventory that we're seeing. In Fuquay, the median value is up 6%. Um, days on market is down 66% and expired listings are down 52%. Morrisville was our other area that went down a little bit in value, down 3% in Morrisville for median value, down 33% um, for days on the market and up 52% for expired listings. So this one was our winner this year or this quarter. Um, Garner property values are up 13%. Um, days on the market is down 86% from 15 days to sell last year to two Two days to sell this year that's kind of crazy um, and expireds are up 27 percent nightdale um, is also down two percent now nightdale was one of our ones that last time we did these numbers it was up like 20 percent so we're netting like 18 percent or something like that still very very good gains in nightdale and i expect to see some more gains because their average or their median price is 223,000. nightdale's a nice little town really really affordable um, really convenient you know, your minutes from downtown Raleigh, minutes from North Hills, everything you could pretty much need in Nightdale, but still a very affordable home, low crime. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think, one of the up and coming areas. So even though prices are down slightly, um, I don't expect that one to be a trend. Um, so days on the market are down 42% in Nightdale and expired listings are down 88%. That's quite a bit. Wake Forest. Wake Forest is up 4% for the median value. Um, days on the market is down 80%. That's kind of crazy. 20 days to sell a home last year at this time and four days to sell a home this year at this time. That's a, that's a big jump. Um, and expireds are down 50%. For a while there, I was thinking that Wake Forest might have kind of outlived the, um, the, the, 
high roller coaster ride of the market because it's a little bit farther removed from things. The traffic on Capitol can be really challenging um, and prices were starting to really creep up there. So I was thinking, you know, for the location and the price of home there, you know, 336,000 is quite pricey. Um, you know, not that much less than like Cary, for example, but you don't have the convenience that you have in Cary. So I was thinking maybe they'd already, you know, seen, seen their max um, price increases, but this shows that that's probably not the case. Um, and then last but not least, Raleigh is up 9% um, with a median value of 270,000 this year. Um, days on the market are down 29% and expired listings are down 30%. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be posting these videos. Um, specifically, the statistics videos will come out four times a year, but I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos about the area so you can get to know it um, and all the great things that we have to love about Wake County, North North Carolina. So click that subscribe button and thanks for watching. Have a great day.